Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this Unity tutorial I'm going to give you a crash course on how to convert JavaScript into C Sharp. So, as of Unity 2017, Unity Technologies removed the ability to actually create a JavaScript within the engine. Now, you can still use JavaScript, but you have to create the file manually, which is why I urge everybody to convert to C Sharp. Now, both languages are very similar in design, and in a way, the Unity script, which is JavaScript that we refer to, is kind of based off C Sharp anyway. There are differences throughout the entire thing, so we'll go through them. So firstly, we have the namespace, and that's at the very top of the script. JavaScript uses the term import, whereas C Sharp uses the term using. Both do the exact same thing, you just need to remember which one is which. Now, a public class is something which only C Sharp will use, so JavaScript has no use for what we refer to as a public class, and this is basically where all your script is contained. So the way you declare variables in the JavaScript, you state var, then name, then a colon, then the variable type. By default, it is already public, which basically means you can see in the inspect panel. Uh, C Sharp, you state the type first, and then the name. You can also have the word public before the type to have it in the inspector panel. Methods are pretty much the same. We just replace the word function with the word void in C Sharp. Many lines do remain the same in both languages. You just need to be aware of a few minor differences and we'll go through a couple now to get you started. So in something like get component, we have JavaScript with the extra little dot before the spiky bracket. So you'll notice that in the C-sharp version, the lack of the decimal right there. Use of the word new. So when using something like a vector three or a yield, in JavaScript, you wouldn't use the word new. In C-sharp, you would use this word, sort of like helping the script realize what it has to do. So as you can see in these examples here, we have the word new in the C-sharp version, and the same does apply to yield. So here we have the example. But on that note, when we use yield within C Sharp, we cannot do it in a function like in JavaScript. So in JavaScript, you can use that uh, yield in any method or function except update. In C Sharp, you can't use it in just any old method or void. You have to use an I enumerator. So at any point you, where you want to control the flow of time, for example, in Unity, you have to use the I enumerator. Uh, in JavaScript as well, to call these methods, you would just place that method name into the script, whereas in C Sharp, you have to use a start coroutine to start that up. Now numbers are pretty much the same when it comes to the two languages, and the only real difference is the float. Now the integer remains the same, but the biggest difference is that float, and we just use the letter F after any decimal number. Now there's plenty of other little changes here and there throughout coding in Unity, but as you start to work more with C Sharp, you'll likely discover them naturally, so you don't need to worry about that at all. Um, I'll leave a JavaScript script pinned in the top of the comments of this video, so if you'd like a bit of a challenge, try and convert it yourself to get accustomed to the conversions. And if you get stuck or anything, you know, just drop me a comment and I'll see if I can get back to you. But yeah, if you can try and convert that script in the pinned comments to C Sharp and get it working, then you're well on your way to converting yourself to C Sharp. So guys, I hope this little crash course has helped you some and I will see you in some other tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.